This whole experience is scary as hell. How all occasions do inform against me and spur my dull revenge. Static friction is the friction that exists between an object and the surface on which it rests. It must be overcome in order to set the object into motion. Now, whether it be bestial oblivion or some craven scruple of thinking too precisely on the event, and it takes significantly more force to get an object moving than it does to keep an already moving object in motion. A thought which quartered hath one part wisdom and ever three parts coward. I do not know why yet I live to say these things to do, since I have cause and will and strength and means to do it. I believe this law of physics is applicable not only in the natural world, but also in the abstract and tangential decisions that make up our paths in life. How terrible and terrifying the force that can keep the creative potential dormant until time and atrophy collect their prize. The gifts that were given to you by the universe. Uncertainty and doubt are illnesses of the soul, and we all get sick sometimes. Many a greater specimen have been undone by such. Frailty. Thy name is morale. These diseases are flexible and their symptoms are inquiries born of insecurity. What form should my art take? What parameters should I self-impose so that my work is easily marketable and digestible? How do I push myself to grow, yet not overreach and risk disaster and stagnation? Should I take the ordered waltz of prudence or the chaotic swing of audaciousness? Ah, this is so unnerving! All fighters and venturers understand that while we are wholly responsible for ourselves, there are forces at work beyond our control. And so many a brave spirit with courageous undertakings utilize the practice of prayer. I pray for the determination to stand tall and fight despite the suffering, for I believe that it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. I pray for the power of Sisyphus, to push the boulder up the mountain and then laugh at my own futility, though in honesty this concept fills me with terror and contempt. I pray for flexibility, so that way when pressure is applied, I can shift my form to avoid cracking. I pray to know joy and sorrow intimately. Enjoy the company of both, for I cannot escape either. And when the cracks inevitably do form, I pray I have something good to fill them with. I pray that I may learn to value and express my compassion, and treat it as a blessing and not as a weakness. I pray that I share this video before I am tempted to destroy it. All the history of all things that have ever existed have all come together to create you as you are. I pray that I may learn to love and accept myself as I am for what I am. That is why it is such a tragedy, a travesty, to waste your talents. The Triceratops may attribute its reputable interior to a long line of ancestors who solved their problems by charging headfirst into things. Gubbinum num du raka. The question that once haunted my being has been answered. My choices are my own, and yet, how ironic. I find that I have no choice at all. I too am not a bit tamed. I too am untranslatable. I am a warrior. I sound my barbaric yacht over the roofs of the world! Let the battle be joined. Hello to you, my faithful and wonderful audience. Thank you so much for watching my video. This was actually the first one I had ever written when I decided I was going to start vlogging. Uh, second one to be produced, as you know. Um, so, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. It was a total blast to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much, enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Also, I would like to extend a very special thanks to my main man, Dewitt, who was the cameraman for this project. Say hi, Dewitt. Hi, Dewitt. Perfect. And I'd also like to extend a thanks to the godfather of vlogging, Zef Frank, for his invocation for beginnings video which initially gave me the idea to do this piece if you want to see that you can find it in the doobly-doo i'll leave the link there also there were five at least five and i think straight up quotes but pop culture references that um that i took and i used in this piece uh some of them were a little obvious some of them might have been a little bit more obscure but you can find the links to each one in the doobly-doo and uh yeah, let me know if you guys, which ones you guys got. If you guys got all of them, make sure to leave a comment below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. All right, guys. Thanks again. More to come soon.